Max, the question that has haunted me throughout my life more than anything else is why is there something rather than nothing? Why is there anything at all? And that anything means anything. It means starting with absolutely nothing. Uh, and uh, not the laws of physics, not the existence of God, anything at all. How, how can we even begin to access that kind of question? So, so I think that uh, we are part of this mathematical structure, which is one out of all the different mathematical structures that just exist, that had no choice but to exist, <clears throat> the ones the mathematicians study and discover. And uh, these mathematical structures weren't created, begging the question of you know, why they were created, because creation presupposes that there's some kind of time before it doesn't exist, after it does exist. Uh, a mathematical structure like Einstein's uh, space-time, Minkowski space, doesn't exist in time or space, because time and space exist in it. I think what you're saying is, is that math, it's impossible for mathematics not to exist, that you can devise any possible world you want to have, but you can't do one that doesn't have at least certain kinds of mathematical structures in them. Exactly, and mathematics itself, the fact that there is cube and that there are the numbers one two three etc is not something that changes somehow over time that didn't ex that there were no numbers yesterday and mm -hmm. now they exist they're timeless all mathematical structures and that gets rid of the whole predicament about creating them somehow that there was a time before they, which they didn't exist and then a time after which they existed and leave, leaving you wondering you know why well the one thing you can ask is why they do exist because if you ask the question, why does anything at all exist, you have to go to various levels as you go down deep. And you can go to quantum mechanics and you can go deeper, but you can also go to the, to the question of abstract objects or platonic objects. Why do platonic objects exist? I mean, you, you can take the question down there. And unless you can show there's a, a contradiction, a logical contradiction, uh, but then that's based on the laws of logic. So why do the laws of logic exist? You, you begin to get circular. Yeah, it's a very deep and, and fascinating question. Is there any choice? Could mathematics have been different? Plato discovered that there are exactly five platonic solids, the tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, the icosahedron. Could there have been six? I bet dollars to donuts that any alien civilization in our universe or any other universe who studies this problem will again discover that, no, nope, there are just five of them and that's just the way it is. And it would be impossible for there not to be five of them. And it would be impossible for there to not be five of them. And so what does that, that, what does that uh, uh, mean about the nature of reality? So what this means about the nature of reality is that there's only one thing that we humans have ever come across that has this transcendent property that it just exists, it, apparently it, without it, having any choice, except mathematics. Is that right? What about the, the laws of logic? Well, the laws of logic are just... The, what we learn as logic in school, which is often called Boolean algebra by mathematicians, is a particular mathematical structure, again. and. Um, how about values like uh, morality or goodness or beauty, other so-called platonic uh, universals? Uh, 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 do, do they exist in the same way mathematics exists? Or, or the, your claim is that only mathematics exists and everything else is derivative as a primary uh, entity? As far as we can tell, we, we, we see different groups of people having very different moral values and di very different opinions about what's beautiful and what's ugly. We're in an art gallery here yeah. reflecting what yeah. some people think is good <laughs> art. I think it's beautiful, but yeah. some people probably disagree. Uh, the only thing that I know of that we've ever come across that seems to have this property that it is universal and had no choice but to be this way is mathematics.